This is called um, Rakil Rosie. I know you're all forming opinions about Rakil, it's a lovely place. Long, long years ago, when I was a boy, I found it tough making friends due to being quite shy. And as for girlfriends and dates, well, none seem my type. That was long before email, Snapchat, or Skype. I couldn't talk to my parents, I felt so alone, till I dis discovered the adverts in the back of the Ireland zone. Long legs and eyelashes, like jigging and reeling, with a bosom real curvy, which to me was appealing. So I wrote her a letter expressing desires to spend cold winter's night cuddled up by the fire and to join her in dancing her jigs and her reels and to admire her long legs in short skirts and high heels. After two weeks of watching the Post and Telegraph's van, the day finally came, a reply from Madame. I climbed under the bed and the envelope I ripped and on reading the contents, my stomach had flipped. She too fancied me, from what I could see. I thought of me acne and me bad dodgy left knee. Then I glanced at the paper with a kiss it was sealed, and the postmark read Limerick and the town read Keel. What would I tell mother, or even me dad, if the thought I might leave them, they'd be roar and mad. But Limerick was calling, and me long-legged Rosie, wrapped up in a blanket by the fireside so cosy. After several hours thinking, I drew up a plan. I told Mammy and Daddy that Rosie was a man. He was a fella I met at a match in Ross Grey, and I was going down to see him, and for the night I would stay. <laughs> me mother was worried about me travelling alone. Uh, she'd have no means of contact. There was no mobile phone. There was a tear in her eye as she waved from the door. <laughs> I suppose it was normal, I was just turned 34. <laughs> well, me father, he drove me to the bus stop in Burr. I had nothing to say to him, all I could think of was her. Then I hopped on the bus, with thoughts fueled by Cupid. I was smiling so much, I must have looked awful stupid. In Portumna and Nina, we stopped for a rest. What a joy to be travelling on the Rat Keel Express. We had a pit stop in Limerick and a piddle in it air. I couldn't wait to meet Rosie with her long flow on hair. The bus finally got there. We arrived in Ratkeel. I at last see me Rosie. Oh, it felt so surreal. Her abode, she told me, was just a few sh short yards away from there. Number six on the main street across from the square. Well, me heart, it was thumping as I started to knock. Then out come young Rosie with a bright coloured frock. Now her legs they were thicker than she wrote in the ad. <laughs> but in the dimly lit room, she didn't look that bad. With a warm welcome smile, she beckoned me in. Her breasts were so large, they were touching her chin. <laughs> her flaming red hair, well, it covered her eyes like a, a robber or a bandit in heavy disguise. After some pleasant chat, we sat down by the fire and as she crossed her long legs, her dress, well, it went up higher. Then she leaned over to me as if to embrace. My stomach was heaving, I was all over the place. We were close on the sofa. As the, ses as the dress grew up further, I was thinking about home and my father and mother. Then right then and there I was about to indulge. When between her two legs, I saw this great bulge. <laughs> I made such a leap that I knocked Rosie down and two heads of cabbage fell out of her gown. <laughs> her womanly features, me eyes, <laughs> that did catch, were sadly homegrown in a vegetable patch. <laughs> well, I made for the door like a bat out of hell. I thought it lies I told to my mother and promised I'd, and not another would tell. Now many years have passed by and I'm, I'm doing grand. I have a wife and a family on a free piece of land. Six sons and five daughters, doing the best that I can, all living together in a large caravan. You see, the day I met Rosie in the town of Rat Keel, I met gorgeous Winnie as I ran across the fields. She was boiling a kettle on a, upon a warm fire, and her startling beauty I stopped to admire. 
It was just three months later in the church we did wed and I took Winnie home to her marital bed. Now I love all things about her. She's shapely and tall. And the best thing about her is she was born with them all. Thank you. <laughs>